Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Cromel School. And it is our pedicure segment. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Today we will share with you how to do a combined pedicure. First, we degrease the toes and remove this old coating. At a maximal speed, using a thin carbide drill bit. It's perfect for doing a pedicure removal. We move up and down, and then from left to right, or the other way around. Depending on the working hand you're holding a handle with. This pedicure here is being done by our professional podologist Olga. And she is left handed, so she is moving from left to right. Next up, we shape a free edge. Note that we place a file perpendicular to it. We need to shape a square here. And we don't make round corners in a pedicure to avoid ingrowth. We don't place the file under the nail here either to avoid cutting a front nail fold. Again, the file is almost perpendicular to the nail. We keep toenails short to avoid such negative consequences as on a colysis. We can push the cuticle either with an orange stick or a metal pusher. We can also use a safe drill bit if the cuticle is stuck badly. We place the orange stick like this, push, and lift the cuticle off the nail plate. In a pedicure, we don't get too deep. Don't do a coating close to the cuticle, because there is no point in it. And that's what makes it different from a manicure. We can form a cuticle pocket with a pusher. Now polish the nail with a disposable buffer to provide proper bonding and clean up the leftover pterygium. Here are some drill bits we're going to use today. Flame, cone, a sphere one for a touch-up, and a gray silicone carbide polisher. It is rough, so it's used for food polishing. Since the model's skin is wet, we apply some baby powder before using an e-file. To avoid clogging, the speed is 5 to 7,000 RPM. We are processing the nail plate. We can also clean up all the gel polish or base coat leftovers with it. Its dull tip lifts up the cuticle well and quickly processes it. And we can polish the lateral folds with its wider side. Place the drill bit diagonally so as not to overfile the nail. Next, we need to process the side with smooth and moves. Now switch the rotation direction and move on to the opposite side. Make short forward and moves. We slightly touch the nail plate but don't push too hard. Now we switch to a flame drill bit, 0.18 in diameter. And at this point, we don't touch the nail. For this, we place the drill bit with its side, with its tip facing the sinus, and put it on the tip. Now we make short moves to clean up the side walls. Thanks to its small diameter, we can easily get in the area between the nail fold and the nail. Here we can speed up to 15,000 RPM. Note that there should be no cleaning sound. Because otherwise, that indicates we are over filing the nail.
and if we do overfile it, it will get thinner on the sides, which can result in curling and ingrowth. Now polish the lateral folds with its white side. Make sure to lean on with the pinky of your active hand. Again, to avoid cutting and traumatizing the nail. Next up, we apply some cuticle remover to remove dust and soften the cuticle before the cut. This part is optional. We'll be using a curette, a special tool used to clean up the area under the toenail and remove leftover dust. We will also need a tissue soaked with water to wipe off excess remover. Now, using the curette, clean up the side sinuses and the area under the nail. Wipe off all the leftover remover and to clean up the area under the nail, slightly press on the skin, pull the excess to the side and move upward towards the center. Don't forget to lean on with the pinky. We need to trim this part of the nail to avoid ingrowth. For this, we turn the nippers over. Note that a regular grip won't do here. Here is the grip we need. Just get under that part and trim it. But don't overdo it, because otherwise, the nail will still grow in. We can cut the cuticle either with scissors or nippers. Choose what you prefer. It's way easier to cut once being softened with a remover and cleaned up with a curette. We keep scissors perpendicular to the cuticle and make a uniform cut moving from right to left. Now we need to polish it with a silicone carbide polisher. The speed is 5 to 7000 RPM. We polish the cuticle and the lateral folds. And it helps to get this perfectly polished look. And one more life hack. To moisturize the surface and remove leftover dust, apply some dehydrating toner or micellar water. This product is a must for a clean look. So here's the result. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments what pedicure videos you'd like to watch next. Bye-bye!